Hey Apprentice Squad, if you've ever struggled with cutting bevels on EVA foam, then you're gonna love this. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you an unknown secret that I use to get perfect bevels at whatever angle I want, and it's super simple. Stay tuned. All right, cutting beveled angles by hand can be complicated, especially when you need to get it at the right angle. That's why I created this simple process so that you can get great results and confidently create a spot on cosplay that'll impress your friends and stand out online or on the con floor. So the first thing we need to do is determine our angle. If we look right here, um, as you know, you might have two pieces that need to attach together. The reason you're doing the bevel is so that you can get a certain end result, a certain angle um, when those two join together in the center. Uh, now, this isn't always a 90 degree angle. Obviously, with a 90 degree angle, it's much easier because you know that that's just going to be 245s to equal the 90. When you start getting uh, into you know more uh, acute angles or uh, more obtuse angles, taking you guys back to geometry here, um, it's going to be a little bit more complicated to figure out what angle do you need to cut this at. All right, so that being said, you just need to figure out what that ultimate angle is, and then I have some simple ways and easy calculations you can use to be able to figure out what angle you need to cut your foam at and then how to cut that by hand. All right, so the easiest way is to use a um, you know digital uh, protractor essentially here um, to be able to just like put up on your angle and figure out what that is. So we're right around basically a 120 degree angle right there. Um, so that's super easy to doing that. You can use a uh, non-digital one to do also find the same thing. Or you can use, you know, a compass or whatever, or if you just happen to know what that angle is um, from your references or anything like that, or you can pull it up on a reference in the, on the computer and be able to figure out what that is. But basically you just wanna find out what that angle is that you need to be able to get. And then from there, it's super easy, okay? So to find out what angle you need to cut these at on a bevel, you just simply take the angle that you had and you do 180 minus that angle. So that's gonna give us 60. And then you just divide that number by two, all right? So that's gonna give us 30 degrees on each of our bevels to be able to give us a 120 degree angle. So again, that was, you take the angle that you want to get, subtract it from 180, and then divide it by two. Okay, so now, now that you know that angle, how do we then convert that into something that's easy to cut by hand? So that's what I've got this diagram right here for. Um, we're looking at a piece of foam sideways right here, four millimeter foam, wrote four millimeter right here, so you can see that. So if you're looking at this sideways like this, then you'll see that um, we're gonna be cutting our, our bevel. We wanna figure out an easy way to know how to cut that by hand and get the angle that we need. Don't worry, don't freak out right now because this is gonna be super easy. Um, I'll send you to a calculator that will help you do this where you just plug in the pieces you need um, and it'll spit out the other stuff that you want. So basically we know that we want this to be a 30 degree angle and we know that this side is four millimeters, right? So we know that this side is four and this angle is 30. So what we can do is with a calculator, we can just figure out how, what length of side this needs to be um, to go from here to here and get our 30 degree angle. All right guys, so here we go. Uh, here's the calculator I was talking about. If you go to our website, cosplayapprentice.com, go to cosplay calculators and go to bevel groove angle calculator. That will take you here. This is the right triangle calculator. Now uh, you'll notice that this triangle's oriented differently than what I have drawn in my notebook, um, but just rotate this up on its side and it'll be uh, the same. So this is the, the line we're trying to figure out, this is the one we have, and this is the angle that we found. So all we need to do is simply go into here for this angle, we're gonna put in our 30 degrees, and we're going to put in, we know this side is four 
I'm just gonna remove this here. We could put in this side is four and we want to know what this side is. So we're gonna remove that. So we've got our angle 30 degrees and our side here, which was four. And we're wanting to know how far, what this size is. So we know how far to measure over on our foam to then have this be our uh, beveled angle that we're cutting. Okay, so then we just hit calculate. And that's going to give us right here, uh, A equals 2.3094. So we're just gonna say it's about two and a half millimeters. So we'll, we'll take that back over to the notebook and go from there. So by doing some simple math, we find out that to get our 30 degree angle, we have four millimeters on this side. This side's going to be about 2.6 millimeters. So just around two and a half millimeters, okay? So then now comes the easy part. If we know that this side is 2.6 millimeters and the thickness of our foam, the angle we need, all we have to do is on our EVA foam, if this is our bevel cut that we're wanting, okay? That's our bevel that we want and we need the uh, bevel to go in this way. Then all we have to do is just on the edge of our bevel, we just simply mark in two and a half millimeters from that line, okay, right on the along the edge, okay. I'm just gonna let me do that again over here. Okay, so we just mark in two and a half millimeters. You can transfer that down onto the side of the foam because that helps if you can carry it to the bottom. And then same thing right over here. Carry that down to the bottom of the foam. Now comes the super easy part. Now that you have it marked on the side, then you just grab your blade. So one of the key things is that you need to make sure your blade stays super sharp, that it's nice and sharp to be able to do this um, because that's going to help you get the cleanest bevel possible. Okay, so now you're going to set up your blade so that your blade will, will be cutting, the part you'll be seeing will be cutting along this line, and then the tip of your blade is going to be lining up with the bottom where that um, mark is, right? So when you start off, you get your blade set up at that angle so that the tip is at the bottom, and this part of your uh, blade is um, lined up with your cut line and then you're just gonna um, hold it into your angle of where it's comfortable of where you're gonna be cutting and then you use your hand as a wedge if you guys remember check out the video on how to cut a bevel cut um, by hand um, and you'll use that same technique here basically you're using your hand as a wedge to maintain that angle so once you get that set up you get your hand positioned so that the blades holding in the right spot and now you're just gonna keep that just move your hand right along that line and you can see it came out on the other side right in line and on this side right in line with that edge. So now we have a perfect 30 degree angle cut by hand and it was super easy. The hardest part is just figuring out what the angle is you need and then it's just some easy math and plugging it into a calculator. Then you just measure out, draw it on your side and then do your cut. Okay, so one last thing to consider now that we've uh, shown the technique, how to draw it on, all those things, is the type of foam you're using um, will make a difference. So if you're using um, like floor mat foam, and that kind of thing, it is a lot softer foam and it doesn't do as well with cutting bevels. And so if you've ever tried cutting bevels before and you've been down on yourself thinking that you're no good at this, um, don't get down on yourself. Anybody can cosplay, you can do this. 
Sometimes, majority of the time I see it, it's just the material that's not making you be able to shine like you should be able to. Um, so I would recommend using our uh, WTF with the foam. It's much more uh, durable and dense and gives you a lot more resistance than any other foam out there right now for cosplay. And it really does help you get perfectly clean bevels. It helps you to maintain that handhold without your blade straying and just cutting into other things or having a sawing motion. Um, it just really gives you really clean bevels. And so, uh, shameless plug, I would recommend using our WTF What The Foam because uh, it's gonna give you amazing results when it comes to cutting bevels. Um, with that, let's cover what we've talked about. One more time through. F first thing, you figure out the angle that you need for the end result. Then you subtract that from 180, divide it by two. That gives you which angle you need to cut each of your bevels at. Then from there, simple as just knowing what thickness your foam is, plugging that in and the degree that you found, the angle that you found into an online calculator and it will tell you how far over you need to measure on your bevel line. And then you just line up your blade, use that wedge technique for cutting, keep your hand just uh, in that position the whole time, cut all the way through and you've got your perfect 30 degree bevel or whatever angle that is that you're needing to cut to accomplish your goals for your cosplay. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Please consider subscribing if it was and sharing this video with a friend that you know it would help out. Uh, my goal is to show everyone how easy cosplay can be so that they can create spot on cosplays that'll impress their friends on the uh, online or on the con floor. So please um, share this around, give this a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cosplay on my friends. Oh shoot, how long has that been stopped?